Hi everyone, Sally Harrison here from the Mesa Chamber and today we have Mayor Giles with us to talk about our little health crisis that's going on in our community. Well, uh, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to talk to, to the, the chamber members, my fellow chamber members. Yes. Uh, first of all, let me just say thank you. Uh, it, I've been really impressed with the way that Mesa, Arizona has rallied around each other. Uh, we do take care of each other in Mesa. I spent uh, this morning out at the United Food Bank. Uh, I think that a record number of volunteers and folks looking for food were there. Over a thousand families came and got food this morning at United Food Bank. That's Friday mornings uh, for those of you who might want to participate in that. Uh, you know, uh, let me give you a little update. Today is the 20th of March. I say that because... Yeah, this it'll is, change tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, I was saying to Sally, every 48 hours seems like a week or a month, you know, yeah, just in does. terms of how fast things are moving. So mm -hmm. uh, I think people are pretty aware of where we're at as a community and as a state right now. Uh, both the city and the state, uh, uh, Governor Ducey yesterday uh, extended the uh, declaration of emergency to include prohibiting uh, on-site uh, dining at, at restaurants and, and closing bars, closing entertainment venues like movie theaters. Um, gyms. Gyms, thank you very mm -hmm. much. Gymnasiums are, are on the short list of businesses that are literally closed. Now for other businesses, uh, so if you fall into that category, I think you know that, that uh, unfortunately for the time being, uh, the, the, both the state and the city are asking you to, to find another way to be productive than going to work. I'm sorry. Uh, work and, from home. Yes, work from home if at all possible. And to that end, the, the, the CDC recommendations for all businesses is to, uh, to engage in, in, in social distancing. So uh, hopefully uh, you are able to function in a way that you, you, you're not uh, assembling large crowds of people and the people that are in your businesses, if they're not able to walk to work from home, you know, can, can have some distancing between them. Right. So uh, that continues to be the recommendations as of today. Uh, now, there are certainly today, uh, in parts of the country, uh, the entire state of California, for example, uh, most of, if not all of New York, a, a shelter in place or a stay at home order. Uh, that literally is what it sounds like. Uh, you don't, uh, I, I think the exception is to go to the grocery store. And the doctor. And the doctor. Yeah. Uh, other than that, you, you, you run the risk of being arrested if you're out in your car on the streets going anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, I think, uh, a lot of us uh, question if that's an overreaction, but I think a week or so ago we would have thought where we're right. at right now is it, 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 an overreaction. So I'm not sure that Mesa and the state of Arizona will never get to that place, uh, but as of today we are not. So um, thank you for what you're doing. Uh, it, I, I'm sure this is going to get more significant than it is now uh, and will continue to uh, look to the governor and to the president and uh, but it will also be an issue uh, in, in, our, in, in our city as well. The city of Mesa does have an emergency declaration, uh, and so we are empowered to do some things that I never thought that as a mayor I would consider doing. Yeah. Uh, and, and we'll do our best not to overreact, but the, uh, the, the health and safety of all of us uh, is, is our primary importance. We, none of us want to be going to funerals, uh, so we're going to do our best to avoid that. So if people want updated information, obviously the Chamber has a site set up on our website just for this, but I assume there's information on city's website, on your social media? Yes, thank you, Sally. Uh, mesaaz.gov forward slash coronavirus. That's where we're, we're pushing, and that's updated on a daily basis. So there's a lot of, of new, useful information there. One of the, the topics I would encourage you to be mindful of is food insecurity. Yeah. Uh, like I say, there was uh, uh, hours and hours of, of a line wrapping around United Food Bank this morning. There's, there's a lot of anxiety in the community about food insecurity. You, you see uh, seniors lining up before the doors open at restaurants, I'm sorry, at, at the grocery stores. Yeah. Uh, and uh, please help us get the message out that there's plenty of food in the system. All of the elementary schools in Mesa, all of Mesa Public Schools elementary schools are, are serving uh, free meals, both breakfast and uh, lunch, uh, at every one of their elementary schools. The same is true uh, in Gilbert Public Schools, Queen Creek Public Schools, Higley Public Schools within the city of Mesa. When it's, you say serving, do you mean that they're providing for them to come and take it, like a take and, and grab it and go? Correct. It's, okay. a, it's, it's a bad, yeah, there, yeah. there's no hot meals, people sitting down yeah. in the cafeteria, that there's uh, consistent with social distancing, mm -hmm. they're handing out uh, bags for breakfast and for lunch. 
So, uh, and, uh, and also, as, as we mentioned, uh, the food banks are doing a, a gangbuster business right now. Mm -hmm. uh, at that uh, mesaaz.gov uh, forward slash coronavirus website, <laughs> there's also a tool there that, uh, that you can suggest to people. They just put in uh, their address, it'll pop up what all the food pantries are around them and, and what the dates and times are that they can go for food. So lots of food is available. Please help us get that message out. May hopefully we can lower the anxiety level in the community a little bit. Uh, please stay tuned. Uh, we're hoping that uh, we don't amend the emergency order much, if any, uh, to expand uh, what were the, you know, the limitations we're putting on people. But uh, the bottom line is, don't go out if you don't have to go out. If you're certainly if you're sick, don't go out. Right. And let's be particularly uh, mindful of our seniors your parents, your grandparents, uh, do everything you can to keep them from going out and doing stuff. Bring them food, leave it at the doorstep. Uh, let's avoid interacting with those who are particularly at risk uh, because they have underlying health issues. So, so let's talk just for a second about people who want to help because we have a lot of need and we have a lot of people that frankly are home right now. So I know that there's a need for volunteers like at the food bank, uh, well, banks, um, but there's also a need for funds. Right, thank you. You know, one of the, the uh, folks are anxious to, that, that's one of the things we love about Mesa, it's a great combination of people who need help and people who are anxious to help right. and feel, people who feel a calling to get engaged in that. Uh, so absolutely, uh, it, it, now uh, I was really impressed this morning at United Food Bank, they were very re socially responsible. Uh, you know, yeah. everybody was washing their hands, everyone was wearing gloves, everyone was staying six feet apart from one another, nobody touched anybody. So uh, there, there is a, a, a correct and healthy way to go about volunteering. Uh, so th that is important. You know, we don't want to be out uh, shaking hands and hugging people and, uh, and, expo and just spreading the disease. So, uh, but if, and, and again, if you're sick, stay home. If you're healthy, please do look for opportunities to be of service in your community, uh, particularly uh, being mindful of, of the elderly, but also uh, the food ban banks, the food pantries, uh, that would be a great place to volunteer. And yeah. as Sally mentioned, money goes a long way. Yeah. Instead of going to the store and spending $10 to buy canned food to, right. to take to the food bank, you know, right. they the can take one dollar. Take and, it and, and really spread it out. Well, I know uh, probably all of our agencies have something set up at this point to take donations. I know uh, there's uh, links available for Mesa United Way and the food bank and I save the family, um, but you know, they do need time and they need uh, in-kind goods, you know, everybody's still running out of, you know, paper goods, right? Mm -hmm. So if, if anybody has any of those types of things that they could donate, I think uh, United Way or any, uh, any of our locations or agencies would be happy to take that. That's absolutely true. Yeah, yeah. anything else? We'll have to do this again because you know it's going to change in a couple of days. The, absolutely, that's the only thing I can tell you for sure. Uh, we'll, we want to be uh, uh, very transparent and communicate as much as possible. So please go to that website as much as possible. We are going to do some some uh, telephone outreach to yes. the business community because I know in particular uh, folks are concerned about uh, are we going to go to those next levels of, of regulation that we are hoping not to. Uh, so let's let's stay in touch. Please. Uh, Stay in touch with the chamber and with the city so that you know, uh, have all the, the most current information. Great. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you, Sally. Yeah.